Hi everyone. Here's going to be a quick video on how to take a picture of an assignment, drawing, or photo uh, of something on your phone and be able to upload it either to Google Classroom or to Google Drive. Sometimes if you have a picture uh, on your phone, you can just get your cable and usually plug it in through the USB device to your Chromebook and upload it and drag it to your drive or upload it to whatever you need to. But if you don't have a cable, and that doesn't work for you, you could always just download uh, the Google Drive app and the Google Classroom app and upload it without a cable to your Chromebook to either of those. So first, let's start off by taking a picture of our assignment, drawing, or photo, whatever. Um, oh, before we do that, let me tell you, I am on an Apple device, uh, but it would be exactly the same, very similar. If you have an Android, just go to the Google Play Store and you could download the Google Drive app. Uh, and the Google Classroom app on either an Apple or Android device. All right, so let me go ahead and open up my phone. I'm gonna swipe up. Sorry, I don't open my phone, open my camera. And let's take a picture of our assignment, drawing, or whatever it may be. Now, I would normally take the picture like this, but if you want to save a little bit of time, I'm actually gonna kind of crop the picture a little bit. So I'm gonna take the picture a little bit further back. Try to work on your angle. You know, don't come from the side or anything like that. Try to make it as square as possible to fit in that frame. And I'm gonna take the picture up here. And this is going to make my upload a little bit faster because now I'm going to uh, check my image. Now when you check your image, make sure you don't need to rotate it. If it's sideways, that's going to, it's going to rotate sideways. So rotate it if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and edit this and I'm going to crop it down a little bit. Um, you'll see that if I, it reduces the file size, it reduces the image by cutting out all those pixels on the outside that I don't need. So let's go ahead and save this. Now, since I cropped it, this is going to be a smaller image and it will upload faster. All right, so I have the picture of my assignment. Let's go back to our, let's first upload it to an assignment in Google Classroom. So I already have the Google Classroom app downloaded and I actually am already in, uh, signed in under my school email address and these are all my classes but this sample class up here at the top I'm actually enrolled as a student this is just a fake class but I'm a student in this so I'm going to go to my sample class and this is of course you can see at the bottom we're in our stream which will give you all your assignments and all the announcements if there's too many announcements just go to the middle button where it says classwork at the bottom and that gets rid of all the announcements and just gives you assignments so let's say I this is a picture of a drawing I did or something I'm going to, that I need to turn in, I'm going to go ahead and click on assignment two down at the bottom. I'm going to click on your work and at the bottom, it then says add attachment. Now, as you can see the fourth one down drive link file, pick photo. That's where I'm going to go right now. But as you can see, the next one says use camera. So we actually didn't have to take a picture of this first. We could have came right to our Google classroom app and used the camera and taken a picture there. But since we already took it, I'm going to click on number four, pick photo, and it's going to bring up uh, my photo album. And obviously, the last one down here at the bottom, this is my assignment. I want to turn in, so I'll click select it. And it is now uploading. And you can see it's still going a little bit slow, uh, and that's even when I reduce the file size by cropping it. And it is going to be, oh, let's see if uh, that actually uploaded. Okay, there we go. Now I can see it. it's up there at the top. You know it's uploaded when you have the chance to close it. See the X up there, it says assignment two. And I'm gonna now click, please make sure all students, make sure you do click turn in. And it's gonna confirm. I'll turn this in and there we go. You know you've actually turned it in when it does say unsubmit at the bottom. If you're actually unsubmit it, you then have turned it in. All right, so there I just uploaded this photo of my uh, drawing or whatever it was for an assignment uh, directly to Google Classroom. Now, if you want to do, use this, let's say this was a drawing and you want to use it in a Google presentation or something like that, we can then upload it to our drive. I'm going to go ahead and go to my Google Drive. And actually, uh, I do have a, a folder here uh, from a previous take on this video called Assignment 2021, but let me show you how I did that real quick. In the bottom right, there's this colorful plus sign, and I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to create a folder. What you might want to do is, um, you know, give it a name, like if you're going to use all, you know, maybe for all your school assignments or whatever. I'm going to just call this, um, I'm going to do all caps just for the sake of this video, Images. And we'll put school, let's say like that, for all of our assignments. I'm going to create that folder. 
and it's right here in the middle. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now I have this folder and I'm going to um, upload the photo that I just took. So let's go to the plus sign again. I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to click on photos. Sorry, let me do that again. I lost it. Upload photos and videos. And let's go to recents. And this time uh, in Google Drive, it's a little bit different. It's this first one. So let me click on this first one was my assignment. Click on upload. Now, here's the nice thing. This image is now in my Google Drive. So what you could do if you need to access it on your Chromebook, you can now go to your Chromebook, go to your Google Drive, and you'll see all your folders right here. Uh, go to your drive, click on images, and now if you're working on an assignment, you, uh, like I said, you could upload it to a Google presentation, to a Google Doc, or upload it to Google Classroom, or more importantly right now is you can now um, turn this in. Let's say your teacher is having you turn something in on PowerSchool Learning. You could turn this in, upload this image from your Google Drive to your PowerSchool Learning page for an assignment. All right, so hopefully this helps you this year. I know we're all digital and got a lot going on, but it's going to come in handy. Um, if you have some free time, download the Google Drive app and Google Classroom app for both Apple and Android. It'll come in handy. All right, take care, everyone. Have a great year.